What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Okay. Double checking on the settings. Hard on. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Let's play Dark Souls. My headset is messed up. I can only hear things from the right, so let's hope for the best on that. Depths guy. Wow. A fiend. Um. I hope everybody's doing well. We actually have a suggestion today um, as far as the topic. So, at, at the risk, I knew that guy was there. I knew he was there. He got me anyway. Uh, Gabriel suggested. Uh, Gabriel's my friend. If I ever talked about Gabe or Gabe that you see uh, in a lot of my videos is the same Gabe that has been commenting on the last couple of these. If you're another viewer, Gabe, you know who you are. But he wanted me to talk about hedonism. So, and then suddenly the other side of the headset started working. So I don't think I'll aggro on the enemies here. Um, let me read you that definition because I had to double check on it. It is the pursuit of pleasure, sensual self indulgence is a philosophy. The ethical theory that pleasure, in the sense of the satisfaction of desires, once again, in a sensual way, that does not mean sexual necessarily, but it is physical, physical happiness. So the feelings that you get when you eat a lot or you have sex or um, any of the, any of those things. Okay, so once again, it is a uh, stun lock. It is the pursuit of happiness and sensual pleasure. That's in those two things are the most worthwhile things to pursue. Uh, and that is the ideal way. And he asked me, well, what do you think about hedonism? What do you think, um, what do you think you can achieve by pursuing a hedonistic lifestyle? How do you think that will end? So, now that we've discussed what exactly that lifestyle entails, I would say that network connection is Unable to connect to the net. Okay, I don't know what the issue is there. I wanted to leave myself open to invaders. I, I promise you I did not pull the plug or whatever. Um, but... Sound is going from my right. Okay, from my right speaker again. Uh, I feel like that's a very hollow and superficial way to live. I think the most, you know, when when you talk about sensual desires, you're talking about fleeting feelings feelings that you get while having sex or eating a big meal or, you know, being massaged or whatever, those physical feelings are feelings that are fleeting, feelings that will pass sooner rather than later. That stuff to me just seems like, if that's what you're really, of course all of those things are good. Who doesn't enjoy enjoying a nice meal or having sex or whatever, but you do not need to look at it as ultimate goal, the ultimate way to live life, because that happiness, to me, from my own taste, from my own experience, that seems to me, I see that I missed an item over here, so I'm doubling back, um, and this did not get me to, yes it did, 
ring of the evil eye. I don't really need that one too much. But that stuff to me, it, it seems to me like if that is what your ultimate pursuit is, that's, that's just a hollow way to live. You know, I'm not even... You, you talk about... Religion, or whatever. Right? However you put purpose into this existence. Why are we here? What are we trying to do? You know, a lot of times I say, well, I'm not trying to pursue anything in particular. I just want to be happy. But... Once again... Oh man, my headset's about to die. This one is just snake bitten, man. We, we beat uh, Kirk here. Juice it back up. There we go. And there is the window sound. I hit the mouse. We will plug the headset in. see if I got an item there. I think you're supposed to get a piece of uh, curtain armor every time you defeat him. I went back to black hair. So, uh, I, I guess for me, I think the if, if you pursue that type of life, I think you're going to be feeling empty more often than not. I think you're going to feel let down more often. It's it's not a matter of those things aren't worthwhile. I think, you know, sensual pleasure is a huge part of everybody's life. But for that to be your main goal, to, to feel genuinely from the bottom of your heart, that that is the ultimate objective. You know, I don't know that you'll ever really find the happiness that you're looking for. That I think the only way to true, genuine, heartfelt satisfaction, um, that be, being made whole, I think you can only find something like that from the hard shit, the stuff that's not fleeting. You know, major accomplishments. For some people, having a family it is not the right thing for them. For some people, going to college is not the right thing. Trade school is not the right thing. Everybody is unique in, in the thing that will make them whole, but I would say everybody is not unique in the sense that, ultimately, physical pleasure is weak. And, and it is up to everybody Sometimes this shit is hard, man. Sometimes this shit is really hard. For me, I'm still figuring out what is going to make me whole. I feel like I have a pretty good idea, you know. I, I know some things that I think will get me there, but the only way that I'm going to know for sure is, is getting there. Sorry, you probably have no game sound. I'm resetting my mic in the hopes that it will... Not my mic, but my headset in the hopes that it'll get sound on both sides. And it did. Let's go. So, that's my thoughts on eating them. And, uh, Gabriel, I will grow some of your other topics. moving on to something that is perhaps a little less serious. I want to talk about the Gaping Dragon a little bit. Because I think that this boss is super cool. And I wanted to talk about why. So, Gaping Dragon is the only boss out of any Souls game that legitimately creeps me out. And I just think it is so cool Almost 
guaranteed not to be able to Anytime I think back to stories of corruption, Pardon. you know, Gaping Dragon actually would be um, a, a case of a, a creature that is hedonistic in nature. That in its pursuit of of pleasure and gluttony, it corrupted itself. But I, I, I just I find the gaping dragon to be so cool. Because those types of stories infatuate me. I mean if you've been I'm sorry, this is so embarrassing. This episode really is snake bitten. I've gotten hiccups. I've had connectivity issues. Uh, just, I, I, I've been shit on in every which way. Oh. Probably not going to guess the direction I'm going to go with this. But the second Ghost Rider movie, Spirit of Vengeance. Did the movie stuff? Yeah. Yeah, kind of did. But in that movie, it offered an, uh, for a backstory for the spirit. And I, I don't know how true it is to the comic book representa representation, but in the movie they offer that these demon was an angel who wasn't even a fallen angel, but an angel who Bonfire is actually deceptively close to where we di died there, so it's all right. That's all good. But the angel that inhabits the Ghost Rider was an angel who was captured and tortured to the point of insanity and then repurposed. To, uh, or manipulated into hunting souls for the for the devil. Now, uh, one that sounds badass. Two, you know, I just I love the stories of uh, of corruption. Of you know, be it in this case not really a, a fallen angel, but in the sense that the angel was tortured and and. and so, 
Let's see. Okay, I was able to aggro this guy without aggro. You know, that's probably the way I should have tried to go about it before. I didn't, didn't realize there were two guys. I was a little too focused on talking. And whereas that movie did suck ass, it did offer that pretty cool, pretty cool backstory. So cool that despite how shitty that movie was, I, I remember it all these years later. So, you know, when I think of the Gaping Dragon, and, you know, if you watch the intro of Cinematic for Dark Souls, the Everlasting Dragons were, you know, they, they, they were it. They were here when there was nothing. I mean, genuine, like, legendary creatures that embody, you know, wholesomeness and purity of form. And you have this one dragon who, through his own flaws, became some thick, with twisted version. And I dig it. I think it's cool. Um, you know. I'm so, so sorry. My nose is itchy. Freaking the pollen is out there. Said this one is snake bitten. But if you w wonder if it's good to live a hedonistic lifestyle, just keep in mind that if you do that, you'll end up like the cave in dragons. So. At your own risk. You know, I guess for that same reason, I love the aesthetic of New Glondo Ruins because you have this huge civilization that has, you know, fallen to darkness and been flooded, and this great city is now nothing but a, a mass grave of you know half inhabited by nothing but dark dark race and specters the shit is that is that a rat I did not need to come to Black Town, but I, I I really wanted to fight the gaping dragon just because just because it, the design of, of him was so cool. I wanted an opportunity to talk about him. I thought, well, if I'm gonna talk about him, I will fight him as well. Wait, did I mess up? Is this not the right way? That's, that's, that's death.
These these bridges actually are not nearly as bad on PC because you do not suffer the extreme brain loss that usually comes with being in Black Town. I have never experienced this before where you can actually see what what the hell is going on. I think that path is accessible. I think that just leads to death. So I, I guess that's purely just a branching path. I gotta go back again. I hope whoever's within the sound of my voice is actively, you know, even if you haven't found your thing to make you fulfilled, Keep searching. Find your thing. Don't settle. I think... I think that is really... the, the purpose of, of, of it all. Why we're real. You know? That, 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 that's... You know, independent of... Jesus Christ. I can't remember how you killed him. But I don't think you can get to it. I forget what you get exactly, but I think you get some cool loot for killing the leech thing. I'll try to, then. Might as well work out. Is there a second ladder? way you're actually supposed to kill that guy is you go up behind him and get him with some squishy bits. But... Eagle shield. I need a shield, but probably need to try to get a medium build. Not a medium build, but a medium shield to match my build is what I was trying to say. Because I do not plan on leveling endurance a ton. And I don't want to be forced to use the Havel's Ring. To use Havel's Ring if I do not have to. I don't want to be forced to. This actually is the way that you go in to fight that guy. That's all right. Actually, deceptively, not that far away. It's all good. More worried about the hiccuping than anything else right now. But it's all good. I'm in no hurry. We're chilling. Trying to style on there, honestly, it, it hurt me more than anything. So, I really need to. I think there's a fire keeper soul. Check. I hear the blow dart guy. I definitely want to get this guy before I go down because he'll shoot me. Am I mistaken? Ah, oh, he's below me. He's below me. No. Oh my god, I'm so confused. They're pissed, I can hear them screaming, but... Yeah, he's 
should have fallen off the edge. He did not. He did not. Play Bioshock if you haven't. Are the... Do the dark guys not respawn? Is that what it is? Shit. I ain't even trying to dark side feel you right now when I say I can't see shit. I think there are several blow dart guys down here. No. I've missed, I've missed my opportunity to kill that guy. Unless that's not the right spot. This might not be the right spot. I guess where is this the spot that led behind him, though? him right here, but that's... Let's try... Um, I have a crossbow. I mean, I only have 10 bolts, but... Oops. I have 11 bolts. We can try. It did no damage. Okay. Uh, safe to say that's not way to go. I forgot I had the night nice shield. So what is physical on that? Ooh, awesome. Oh no, I'm still fast rolling. Still fast parry, so that's good. I wonder what is down here though. There's a lot of by town that I don't, I just don't remember. I think this just takes me all the way to the bottom. I want to kill this the the thing though. Do you have to come at it from another direction? I legitimately do not remember. I feel like I have killed it from this side. Um, I don't think you're supposed to, though. I think it is a, it's a deal where he pretty much, I, I know he pretty much just one-shots you as well. He does a shitload of damage. But that side down there is just purely a branching path to loot. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I wish I had some fire bombs left uh, to try that for damage. I feel like there's a firekeeper soul. Either by him or behind him. So. Worth a 
shop. It looks like you can get by from there with these things, though. Because he attacks to the left first. His left. It hit him though. So he can take damage from right there. You good? Nah, he is okay. He's okay. <laughs> I don't think I have a regular fireball. No, I don't have any way to... Have a spear. An upgraded spear. I need to level endurance at least a little bit. Great sword. Ooh. Let's try a shockwave attack. Nothing. Try. Wait, is that the Firekeeper soul right there? I think you do actually have to come at him from another side. Actually, you know what? I think I know how you... I think you have to... I think I remember how you get to him. I think... Souls last. And obviously, you know, some stuff has stuck with me, some stuff obviously had. Killing the leech right now, I don't I don't think I can I can get it. If I had a bunch of those firebombs left, I think I have to be good doing the damage to kill them right now. I just don't have it. I don't know if that's the Firekeeper Soul right there, or if I'm misremembering, if it's some type of ring or something. I don't know. But for now, I will just move onwards. Wasted quite a bit of time on that. So. We shall venture, venture forth here.
this is actually, you know, this is really cool. I, I have never got to really experience Black Town the way it was meant to be experienced because the technical limitations being what they are. Hey, the falchion. That's actually what I was looking for. Um, I think the falchion has bleed, whereas the scimitar does not. I think the falchion actually just does a little bit more face damage as well. Does she was sell the falchion? I can't remember if he does or not. Oh, he sells the Mercuma. Which is not even the same thing. Mercuma's pretty cool too. And we may switch to the Wanderer Drip as well. Okay, so it has higher deck scaling. Is also lighter. A Black Knight sword needs 20 strength. I don't know, I still kind of want to try the Black Knight sword a little bit. I mean, Our Jesus blessed me with the draw, so it's kind of seems like a shame not to use it.
whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. There's the fire keeper soul. Okay. All right, bro. This is not the wheel you can get. I have been told through the grapevine that you know with Goblin you either wheel or you feel, but that is not the wheel that I need. Time to get out of Black Town. I guess I'll go back to Firelink Shrine and level up the flask. And from there, I will probably do the garden. I think the Darker Garden. That sounds like fun. So, I think I'll just do that before tackling Sin's Fortress and we can fight uh, Sith and the Butterfly. Then do Sin's Fortress and then. Is this a real one? I was totally prepared to get shit on. I am confused. What door do you need? A key? Oh, okay. It's actually, it's up here. This is the key as if you're going the other way. This is the one that the master key unlocks. So if you were doing this normally, you would need to go through Black Town the hard way, then come through this door. I want to see if he's old large type of that. It's not. Come back soon. I don't know if this is going to be my final drip or not. Probably not, actually. I think I have an idea of the step that, that I'd like to wear, but I will leave that as a surprise. You know, there have been times where I ran all the way back through Black Town, went through that door, and then the elevator not been here and plummeted to my death. So now I am super conscious of this elevator every time I go this way. Do I want to go get the right of kindling? Try going that way? I don't think so. I'm not doing enough damage that I would feel comfortable doing that quite yet. I'll probably get straight to 20 and then just level nothing but health and endurance. Here. Hello, I am Petrus, if not... 
Hello, I real, but I up here. No. Oh, my get I will so it was Oh, middle An undead mish regrettably, but you are my pupil. Very well. Undead clerics are given kindling is the art of through kindling. Come again. The effect. You are undead as we've no time to fraternize. We must not let hmm? you look awfully raggedy. Time's a grip. Don't you dare me. You might scare her off. Man, talk to me like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I guess I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I will see you next time. Until then, though, bye bye for now. I, I hit OBS, I swear I did.